Well, today's rain made people up in Lemonster even more worried after what happened Monday. The showers today didn't really set them back, but as WBZ's Christina Rex shows us, the city's still got a long way to go. And then it slopes off again over there into Barrett Park, which has a pond. As the water recedes, Lemonster Fire gives us a tour of the unbelievable damage left from Monday's flash floods, from collapsed driveways to water that has yet to stop running. The damage to infrastructure alone is at an estimated 25 to 40 million dollars. We're going to try to ease the burden um, in any way we can. As I said, extra trash pickup, sump pumps, anything that we could do to just help out. We realize how devastating this is. And we lost everything. Residents are at a loss. As the rain continues to pour, their belongings are falling into the rivers behind their homes. This, this is my pool. And it's all hands on deck. Firefighters checking in on neighbors' well-being as the city figures out next steps. Like I was going to have them sandbag this, at least deter the water, get it away. Groups from first responders to the Red Cross and Salvation Army to neighbors are here to put in the work. Dozens of people showed up to emergency management to fill and tie off sandbags to stop the water runoff. You know, there is a level of anxiety, but there's also a desire to start to recover. And that's, that's the place where Team Rubicon can pitch in and help them recover. And Steve Scott is here from Team Rubicon, a group of veteran volunteers here to see how they can help totally free of charge. Into people's basements and clearing out wet furniture, clearing out wet debris, even if necessary, taking out wet sheetrock and wet fiberglass. And the United Way has now started a relief fund for the people of Lemonster. If you're interested in donating, we do have that information on our website, WBZ.com. Also important to note, Lemonster schools will be back open tomorrow, albeit on a delay. So the mayor asks for patience as those school buses try and navigate many closed roads. In Lemonster, Christina Rex, WBZ News.